six tips to combat menopausal weight gain. This video is for you if you are a woman over 40 in perimenopause, menopause, or beyond. Are you packing on the pounds and wondering what the heck can I do about it? I'm going to get into it. I am Robin, nutritionist. I help women over 40 meet their nutrition needs and also mitigate symptoms and concerns related to the pause phase. And so when I say pause, all of that is included. So let's get into these six tips. So I'm going to keep it real. When we are going through this hormonal mayhem, when our hormones are changing, which is inevitable, if you are a woman over 40, for some menopause, because of the estrogen and just things that are going on, actually increases our appetite. So it's making, have you felt that? That you're like, oh my gosh, I just want to eat and eat and eat. And if you're eating and eating and eating, it's going to put some more pounds. And then all, again, because the hormones are changing, it's, it's messing with our metabolism and all of those things. So I'm going to give you six, six tips. And one of them is really, really, actually they're all powerful, but one of them I'm like, you, you must do this. So this is in no particular order and how I'm gonna tell this to you. So we're talking about combating menopausal weight gain. So these are about what you eat. Also, also when we have sleep disturbances that messes with our metabolism and our weight and all of those things, which sleep disturbances for some of us is a part of the pause phase. But just to know that, to understand that sleep disturbances plays a role in how your body processes things. So let's get into the, what to eat, because it is important that we shift what we used to do. So in your 20s and your 30s, our bodies were more forgiving and our metabolisms were higher, faster, and we could do more things. So these are the things you want to make sure that you're eating omega rich foods, omega three rich foods, good fats. Good fats include, so omega foods, you can get them, uh, we always know it for salmon, but good fats is what I would say, not just omegas, but good fats. So avocado is good fats. You want to do oily fish, you can do olive oil. So we want to do good fats. And I know as I'm telling you this, your question is how much, when, where? I've created a full uh, nutrition plan for us, the women in the pause phase. And I'll make sure that I link that information in the down box so that you can get more information. But you want to get your, your good fat in because that helps balance things. It, it just, it's important. So good fat. Second, again, this is in no particular order. This is actually on the exercise track to which I'm not an expert in. And that's where I struggle too. But the exercise, specifically the weight bearing exercises. The weights help us to process the sugar, the excess sugar that's going on in our body. So resistance training, resistance weight. I have like resistance bands. I, I use resources on YouTube to work with, with my resistance. So resistance training, not just cardio, but we need weights to help our metabolism which will help us with the weight. Number three, going back to food, fasting, fasting. Fasting is scientifically known to help us in certain ways. And you're not fasting just because you're trying to not eat to lose weight. It's not, it's not that. Fasting just helps to regulate our body and take things out that doesn't belong and put us back on the right track, if you will. Again, I know you have questions about that, I'm actually working on doing a video about fasting, but in the program that I created, we have a fasting protocol, right? That's number three. So we're helping you combat weight gain. Number four, you want to make sure that you have fiber rich foods so that your bowels are working properly. So flaxseed, your fruits and vegetables, we'll keep it simple, foods that are getting the roughage, just getting it out of your body will help us when you're eating something, it takes it out. So your fiber rich foods. And then number five. Okay. So protein, 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 protein is important. 
in this way. So protein, chicken, fish, eggs, tofu, your protein source, right? There's animal protein. Some people don't do animal protein. So there are plant-based proteins, but you want to look for a complete protein. So with your plant-based proteins, an example would be your tofu or your tempeh. But if you're not doing vegan or vegetarian or plant-based, then eggs or turkey. Organic meats are better, and especially for us, but your protein. And, when, and so it's 30 grams of protein per meal is a good place to, to aim for. 30 grams of protein per meal. Check with your doctor though, because if you have any kidney issues or protein area where you're uh, shedding protein out of your urine, check with your doctor on that. But aiming for 30 grams of protein, oh, and Greek yogurt is a good protein as well. So that protein helps our metabolism. It helps our blood sugar. So whenever you eat, you want to marry, if you're having oatmeal, you want to have eggs if or a tofu scramble plant or plant-based protein powder because you want that that carb and that protein to be together. If you're having a carbohydrate without a protein, you're doing yourself a disservice because that carbohydrate is more likely to turn into sugar and store it as fat. And that's what we're trying not to do. So eating protein with every meal and aiming to get 30 grams, that will make a huge difference difference. And number six, number six, number six, <laughs> we have to get our hormones checked. We have to get them checked so that we know where we stand. Because if they're all off balance, then it's throwing off all of our systems and it makes it more difficult for us to do what we want to do. But when we know where we stand and then we work toward restoration or rectifying or making it, taking an action toward that naturally or with um, HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy. Not an expert on that. Ask me about fruits and vegetables all day. But in the program that I created, I bring in experts to help us with that because we need that. <laughs> so there's, I work with a lot of different experts. I'm the nutrition side. And when you are a part of the necessary nutrition community, we start you off with a nutrition plan and then we connect you with answering the questions. Do I need hormone replacement therapy? What's the pros, the cons? And then what are the alternatives? We have experts to help us with that and a whole host of other things. So those are the six things, six tips to combat menopausal weight gain. I'm going to repeat them again. Your healthy fats, and this might not be in order I said, but maybe it's your healthy fats your exercise, your fiber-rich foods, fasting, protein, 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 and getting your hormones checked so that you can develop a plan of action. And if you need support on any of that, then on the in the down bar, I'm putting the information down there that can help support you in that space. And, and maybe you don't need any of that, but you're like, hey, this video was good. You can buy me a cup of herbal tea. I take herbal tea uh, cups from you. So down below as well, you can say, yes, I'll buy you a cup of herbal tea. And I will be sipping on herbal tea on your behalf. And that is, it's called buy me. It's called, it'll say buy me coffee, but it's really tea. So if you want to do that, I would, I would take it and I would be so grateful. <laughs> so anyways, I will make sure that I come here. Oh, like subscribe, share, and comment if this video was helpful for you and share it with your other girlfriends that you know, your sister friends, that this would help them. And I think that is it. Think well, be well, and eat well. This is Robin, nutritionist from Necessary Nutrition, and I'll see you soon.